Today's job is the internal cladding which I've started, as you can see. Um, I'm starting on the sides and then I'll be putting the roof on, uh, the ceiling, uh, before I do the back just because of the way I want um, the roof to overlap the, uh, the tongue and groove. So I'm leaving a bit of an expansion gap between them. Um, not much because I'm not expecting you know the timber to get wet and, and dry much so but I'm leaving a little bit of an expansion gap and then up at the top there's again there's a little bit of an expansion gap up there and that'll be covered by the ceiling boards when they go on. So I'll finish up doing this side and then the other side and then as I say it'll be time to put the ceiling boards on before I do the front and the back. You can see I've painted the brick course along the bottom as well it's I'm not happy with the colour so it's uh, it's going to be painted again um, obviously there's little bits that have been filled. I thought I might as well fill them before I repainted it and the outside of the building has been painted as well I'll show you that it's a little bit of a mess out here but yeah we've painted the building gre uh, cream and then the uh, fascia board where the gutters go in is a kind of light green Right, I've got the two side walls clad. Um, obviously, the electrics are in now as well. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the electrics, obviously, because I'm not an electrician. Um, but I've got a double socket there, a double socket there. I'm going to have two strip lights in the ceiling and then two lights on the outside, which I'll show you at some point. So, I'm starting cladding the back wall now, as you can see. I've had to put the ceiling boards on first, uh, the reason being because you can't see now because I've, I've packed it with insulation but on this side you can see when I put the, the ceiling boards on I need to be able to attach to this far batten here and obviously if I'd clad this wall first that wouldn't you know it wouldn't have been accessible so I'm going along putting the ceiling boards on before I clad the back wall and then obviously filling that void up at the top there with insulation and spray foam so I'll go along and finish the um, the ceiling on that side and then clad the back wall completely and then move along to the front. Incidentally to get the ceiling boards up I've been using these two props um, which are the same props I used when I was you know doing the insulation on the ceiling and they've been really good I've, I've been able to get these big plywood boards up there by myself using them which is, is really handy. So that's all the cladding finished um, and the ceiling boards are all on. So I've been along and I've filled all the holes, um, you know, where the screw heads were and sanded them back. And now I'm just going to put some trims along these joints. So that's all the trims on now. And it's time to give it a lick of paint. Right, it's been a busy few days, but we've got the electrics all wired in. We've got a little bit of uh, lighting around the door there. All the cladding's finished inside. Painted, a couple of strip lights up there, uh, got the electrical sockets, and then all the trims are on, sort of round the bottom, um, up along the joins, along the middle. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it's looking really. Um, the paint I've been using is Cuprinol Natural Stone, which is the same for the outside of the building and the inside. Uh, and I can't remember the name of the uh, sort of green green paint that I've used around the, the brickwork at the bottom and also up on the board under the roof there that's got the same um, green colour up there as well as cladding the inside I've also clad the underneath of the porch area so we're really pleased to get that done sort of makes it feel like a you know, a proper room inside now. 
So yeah, really happy to get the electrics and the cladding finished and it's starting to look a bit more like it now. So I think the next job will probably be um, the guttering possibly or maybe the floor on the inside. And then once the floor's down, uh, I can get the door in and then think about how I'm going to make the windows. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time.